The distance fluctuates regularly throughout the year, but now at about 251,000 miles away on this winter night in front of the Bronx Metro North Stop here on Fordham Road, Joseph Martinez of Jupiter Joe's Sidewalk Astronomy, with the help of this powerful telescope, has eliminated that distance for those who want to take a closer look at the moon and beyond. It's excited. It was awesome. Yeah, nice seeing it. It has many mirrors inside. So it's actually almost a six foot long telescope in the light path that it takes. And because of that, you get a lot of magnification. And no age limit here, just a willingness to get as close as possible to the lens. I saw the moon and I saw the top and the white spot. Today we're looking at the moon. We might get to look at the Orion Nebula, might get to look at Mars. Here with his family, Joel Rivera says he ran into Jupiter Joe's sidewalk astronomy last year and has since become a fan. That big crater that you saw right in the middle of the moon, that's that crater right there. Wow. He's looking to build interest, picking a busy street like this one, where many pause briefly in the middle of their schedules to consider all that is happening above. The last time I saw the, the whole thing with the moon was in when I was nine years old. When they landed on the moon, I remember seeing it. I think it was 69, if I'm not mistaken. And that's the first time. So this is the second time I see it that close. So that's pretty cool. The Jupiter Joe's Sidewalk Astronomy is just a local outreach program. It's a grassroots outreach program that's designed just to bring awareness of the cosmos to the people. And there's been much to talk about this month with a great conjunction on the 21st, the same day as the solstice, this marking the closest anyone has seen the planets Jupiter and Saturn in a night sky in 800 years. It is this neighborhood where he grew up in that he wants to share about all this, which happens to be in a borough with a strong connection to astronomy. There was an eclipse that happened in the Bronx back in the 1920s, and the Bronx was the only place that you could really come to see the total eclipse happen. Out of that, the Amateur Astronomy Association of New York, one of the largest in the world, formed. The Bronx is also home to the city's second largest planetarium, located at Truman High School. The Hayden Planetarium on West 79th Street is the largest. For more information on locations to see the stars, go to jupiterjoesastronomy.org. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.